So I've been at my mom's helping to take care of her. It's great having a big family when you reach um, the point in your life when your parents are getting older. And uh, our mom just had hip surgery, so we've been kind of like taking shifts. It's really awesome. Um, I don't live close enough to go like daily, so I come in a little less frequently. So I was just there for two and a half days and um, it, it was great. It was great to spend time with her, but uh, it's just really weird to be like in a senior home <laughs> for a while. And uh, so on this, uh, by the second day, I was getting a little squirrely. So I wanted to go out for a run. So I go out for a run and I wanted to go for a swim in any open body of water that I could find, you know, a river. And uh, I'm kind of Google mapping it and looking for a place and I can't find one because it's in, in town. So I go out for a run and cross over into a development and go around and back and I'm kind of watching the the terrain and like the trees and I'm kind of like, I oh, bet there's water over there. And uh, I kind of ran through the development, went through the woods and sure enough, at the end of this, um, this whole stuff that was going on, there was a ravine and there was a, a really pretty river at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's the Winooski River. It might be a tributary to it, but it was um, covered in ice pretty thick ice because it's been really cold, but there were these long, elongated sort of vagina shaped openings in the ice and the river was moving pretty good. So I follow these deer tracks because they're always looking for water and I'm trying to find one of these openings that's going to be like the e access. It's all about access in the winter. So I'm trying to find, and uh, I go along the bank and find one that I think looks good and get undressed and um, just leave my socks on because it's really cold water. Winter water is really hard on your feet. So I, I kind of slide down. This is all about an epiphany that I had about ice. So I kind of, there's a real gradual ice shelf. It's pretty thick, so it looks pretty solid. And I kind of slide down it bare bummed and then like drop into this into this opening of the river and it's kind of a mucky bottom, which was a little gross. So I do my three dips and then I want to get out and I didn't even think about it because I'm usually doing that on a flat surface like a lake and the ice is flat so you can kind of throw yourself up onto the ice and kind of pull yourself out. Well this had just enough gradient to it that I was like a seal and I was kind of like jump up onto it and then and then I was like oh no you know tried it again and then and I tried the third time and I like really tried to you know shoot myself out of there and I land you know kind of hard on my belly and I'm just sliding and sliding and ice is not really that kind to skin you know and I fall back in this water and I'm like oh booger balls you know um so I go down to the end of this opening. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? So I go down to the end of this opening and kind of bust the ice. It was a little like slushy down there and kind of work down to the end of it. And there were, there was just this like one branch coming off from the, under the trees on the shore. And it was just kind of extending just close enough for me to reach up. And I kind of pull really slowly thinking, oh God, don't break, you know, and was able to pull myself out. So it was great. Um, and got a little swim in and then, you know, ran back and it sort of helped to revive me, uh, just being outdoors. I really need the outdoors. And that later that evening, I, um, with this, my only mobile device, which is this iPad mini that I'm holding, I ran out of data. And, uh, so I lost contact with the outside world, you know, customers, family, friends, everybody. And, uh, you know, but I read the paper, which was kind of cool and watched television. I purposefully don't own a television. So I watched the news and there was this weather woman and it was great. She was in Vermont, you know, she was a Vermont guy. So there was no like glamour and big makeup and, you know, she wasn't moving like she was shrink wrapped kind of thing. She was just a regular intelligent woman, you know, and it was really cool. Um, it was nice. I really enjoyed that. It was kind of an easy shift for my mind to enjoy just those other forms of communication, but it was really hard to be out of touch with people. And I'm sort of at a place in my mindfulness and meditation and holistic wellness that I have to kind of stay I, I do guided meditations. I have a couple short ones that I made up that work really well, but for big things like 
like this, where I was staying and what I was doing, I needed a guided meditation. Um, hopefully someday I'll get past that where I don't need that, but now I do. So I was kind of like slipping back on the, you know, meditation and being patient with my mom. And so by the third morning, <laughs> this morning, I was just like pretty out of patience, you know, and, and it was kind of like, well, if you want five prunes, which should be illegal anyways, why don't you take that lever, you know, that's on the side of the chair that you've been sitting in for three hours and just like push it forward because it's going to push you out of that chair anyways. And nobody should be sitting in a chair for three hours anyways. It's just not good for you. So, oh my goodness. So, I mean, you know, ended on a good note. Everything's great, but boy, woo. Yeah. I, uh, and, oh, and so then this morning, my actual epiphany about the ice, which is why I did this, was that um, in the middle of the night, like uh, four o'clock, I hear my mom, you know, with a walker, she's kind of like tick, 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 down the hall, <laughs> you know, she's being real quiet, but still, you know, you're like, whoa, is that you, you know? And I get up and she's kind of like going down into the kitchen to get something. And um, I go back to bed and I can't really fall back asleep. So I'm kind of just laying there and trying to meditate on my own with these short little, my, my let it out with the cat meditation that I made up, um, you know, with impatience, kind of just letting it go and all that stuff. Cause I just felt kind of tired and indoorsy and stuff again. And, um, I had, I kind of drifted off and I had this like dreamy epiphany of the socks that I had on when I went into the river, if I had taken them off and put them on my hands, that when I was trying to jump onto the ice, it was cold. It was, you know, in the low twenties, the temperature. So they would have stuck. They would have stuck to the ice. Um,